Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you um, this electric start conversion on my 15 horsepower um, Evinrude. So, what I have is a parts motor, and luckily it came with all the parts that I needed. Um, starter, uh, this flywheel, um, all the cables, everything like that. Um, so what I did, well, me and my brother, mainly my brother, what we did is we first started out by connecting all of our cables up here. So we ran them through this hole down here. And as you can see that there's a, a, a ground right to the motor block here. Um, and then we bypassed the neutral safety switch because that broke um, by um, just connecting these two wires together and putting a paper a uh, piece of gasket kind of as a thread um but this isn't permanent i think we'll do a little bit of something more permanent but it's just kind of you know to test it and all that um and actually this wire goes up under the uh magneto uh, over around and under here to the starter um which gives it power um and yeah it's basically it um and of course the flywheel, um, you know, the two most expensive parts are the battery, you know, like the entire, um, battery cables and all that, um, from Evinrude or the, um, flywheel. Um, luckily my motor had all of the, um, block, this electrical block, rectifier, charging coil under the flywheel and mounting bracket before we even did anything. So this motor already had that, so we'll be selling that for parts. So if you need like the mounting bracket or anything, just let me know. Um, so yeah, I'll show you here and give you a test. So all you have to do is just push this little button, and it fires right off. And it's really strong, actually. And it will go. And you know you shouldn't do it too too long. Um, I just have it connect connect to our car battery right now. But, yeah, that's that's not permanent, <laughs> let's say the least. Um, so, if you have any uh, suggestions for what type of battery to get, I'm open to any. I'm thinking maybe probably just a, uh, just a regular marine battery. Because this thing doesn't... It'll charge it and all that because of the charging coil on the rectifier here. Assuming that works. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, here it is. Uh, I'll probably do a late run showing this off and showing the electric start. Um, I know it's kind of a rat's nest. Wires, fuel lines, p fuel pumps. I don't have any of the, all the, uh, earbox, anything, air silencer. But, under this, you know, it's a good working, um, starter. And that should be good for next year. So, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.